Hey everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video on the channel. This is now the third community challenge daily thing for the Fortifying Atlas which has been out and this one is going to be for cork. So in this video I'm going to show you loads of different locations that you can get cork. So make sure to watch all of them because each one you don't get very many cork because it's an absolute nightmare to get. So you're going to have to make sure to farm each and every one as much as possible if you're going to want to help out the cause. Now just to make you all aware, we get four days to do this one and the reward for doing this one is a double daily challenges. So if you're still on with the scores and you're trying to rank up your score, you've got to do this to get the double score because it's just going to help everyone out. So get involved, use these methods and let's smash this one. This one is for 200 million cork. Hopefully they're gonna change that like they changed the concrete one, because 200 million cork is gonna be nigh on impossible in my opinion. I only have like 1200 in my scrap box and that's like something that you hardly ever use and that's still all that I've got. Anyways, hope you all enjoy. If you do and it does help you out, make sure to hit that like button. And if you're new around here and wanna keep up to date with all the best guides on the Fortifying Atlas Community Challenge, make sure to subscribe. Let's get straight into it. So the first location you want to head to for cork is obviously going to be White Springs. White Springs has an absolute ton of golf balls and you're going to want to head here and just run straight around the back and find all the golf balls around this little private kind of golf course potting hole, whatever you want to call it. And over here you will find an absolute bunch of them. It's going to get speeded up so it will just dash around them. So I'm not going to show you each and every location of each golf ball. Just have a little wand around here and I'm sure you'll be alright and find them. Now once you're done picking up all the golf balls from this little location at Widespring, what you want to do is go have a little wander around like the outskirts of Widespring, where you should find plenty of little potting holes and each potting hole should have a few golf balls in it. There is also a little kind of little cabiny type of shop type thing around the golf balls as well, around the like potting holes that you'll come walking across as you're wandering around. And inside of there, you've got a few in there too. So make sure to pop into every little building that you come across and every little pot and hole that you come across too. Overall, I think at Wide Springs, you can get like a hundred and something golf balls if you're lucky. And it's, it's not much, but it helps out. Obviously, while you're here as well, you want to go inside the main building at Widespring. Here you will find a whole bunch of them on like the display cabinets and in on the shelves and stuff like that. Obviously, there's going to be girls in here, so make sure to be prepared for a little bit of a fight. But I'm sure by this point in the game, you will all be pretty comfortable wiping them all out. Next up, you want to head to Bolton Greens. Now, this one isn't a fantastic location by any means. The main one is White Spring, but all the others will help bump up your cork total. And this one, all you got to do is run straight around and you'll see this red and white striped tent thing. And then all you got to do is go over to there and there is three or four buckets with a bunch of golf balls in them. All you got to do is pick them all up. You will get kind of harassed by the low level scorched like I did on screen. They're really annoying, but I'm sure you're not going to get killed by them or anything like that. I'm sure you'll be fine. Once you're done farming that place, you want to head up to Hemlock Holes. This is another location where you'll find some more golf balls. All you got to do is go into the main shop and inside of here you should find around 18 golf balls. They are dotted around so make sure to have a little look about. They're on the shelves and stuff like that all around the place. But they only tend to really be in this main room here. So just make sure to check all the counters, all the sides and all of the shelves as well. Also shout out to Stasha Z for subscribing while I was recording this. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button.
And as you can see from going through all them places, I didn't have a very heavy amount. I got 118 golf balls from them, so not ideal, but there is some more places, so don't worry. Once you've been to Hemlock Holes, you want to go to Clancy Manor, which is right beside it. And inside here, you want to have a wander around picking up all of the crystal liqueur decanters. Each one of these gives you one cork, and in this place as well, you should be able to find a globe, which gives you two. The place is defended by, like, some, um... Roger McCarley's the cultists, so they're pretty low level. Some of them might be high level for you, depending on what's spawned in. Just get them out of the way and then go for a nice little wander around. You are meant to be able to find 15 decanters here, but I only managed to find 12. And then there was the globe as well. So all in all, you get roughly 20 cork from this location. Once you're done there, you want to head to Grafton High School. It isn't that exact location, but you go to Grafton, then head straight in here, go to the back closet, and then open it up, and on the side over here, you've got some baseballs and the odd golf ball here. Also, while you're here, if you are short on rubber, or just want to grab a load while you're here, just for the sake of it, inside both of these two bin things, you can find a bunch of kickballs, and each one of them give you a few rubber. Once that's done, head over to Wavy Willard where you'll find this apple and hot dog shop and straight in front of it you'll find this stand which has a bunch of golf balls as well as well as the odd baseball there too. So another location where you can get a good 20 or so cork. Like I said, cork is absolutely scarce in this game so this challenge is going to be a really tough one but hopefully this video helps you out. Once you're done there, you want to head to Morgantown High School. Now, Morgantown High School is an absolutely brilliant place if you are short on any sort of scrap. There's all sorts in here. And in here, you will find a load of mixture of different items that give you cork. So you've got these two globes that you find there. And then as you wander through the hallways, you will find the odd baseball kicking about. And then you want to head into the main kind of sports hall type of thing. And inside of here, you'll find more golf balls and more baseballs. Now that is all I could find in this location, but if you have another wander around, maybe you'll be a bit luckier than I was and maybe find a few more bits and bobs hiding about. Of course guys as well, I forgot to say, if you know any great locations which I missed out or anything like that, drop a comment down below to help everyone out. You can also scrap lightweight armour for cork as well as some pipe weapons, so yeah, get them in there too. Once you're done there, go over to Ohio River Adventures. This is the last location in this video, but all you got to do is jump over here, pick up all of the golf balls, and it's easy as that. It's a little golf kind of Easter egg thing with a Mr. Jangles moon monkey, and he's basically got a nice collection there for you. Another 20 or so golf balls. All in all, this like all these locations together should give you somewhere over 200 cork, maybe two to 300 if you're lucky. And yeah, it's all right. As you can see though, as I show on screen in just a sec, I got 180. This was not including Clancy Manor and the odd other place because I recorded them at different times. So I did get just over 200 cork. Obviously each donation is 250. So it's gonna be an absolute nightmare, but good luck. I hope we get through it because this does, this does give us the double air score weekend. So Thanks everyone for watching, I hope you've enjoyed. If you've enjoyed and this video helped you out, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. It'd be awesome to hit it before Christmas, so let's do it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you later. Bye bye.